Hello again, and welcome back. This, for this lesson, we're going to take a look at numbers. In English, numbers are split into two groups. We have the cardinal numbers. This is one, two, three, etc. And these refer to the quantity. We also have the ordinal numbers. So first, second, and third. And this refers to the distribution. So we've got the cardinal numbers and the ordinal numbers. Let's start off with the cardinal numbers. One, one, two, two, three, three. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, and ten, ten. So we have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The cardinal numbers. Before one, we have the number zero. It's pronounced in a variety of different ways for different contexts. Unfortunately, usage varies between different English speaking countries. So these include zero, zero, and that's used when you read the number by itself, when you're using decimal points, percentages, and phone numbers, and in some fixed expressions. We have also can pronounce it as just O. So zero or O. O used to read years, Addresses, times, and temperatures. Oh. We've got nil, which is used to report sports scores in games such as football. So, nil. And finally, naught, which is used in the UK, but not in the USA. So, the number zero, so we've got zero, O, nil, and naught. Zero, O, oh, nil, naught. So, we've looked at the cardinal numbers. Let's have a look at the ordinal numbers. So, the ordinal numbers represent the distribution. So, when a number ends in one, it reads as a first. First. One, first. When a number ends in a two, it is read as a second, second. When a number ends in a three, it is read as a third, third. And when a number ends in a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or zero, it is read as a th. So for example, fourth. Okay. Let's have a look then. So ordinal numbers. So number one, first, two, second, third, third, four, fourth, fifth, fifth, sixth, sixth, seventh, seventh, eighth, eighth, ninth, ninth, tenth. Tenth. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. So, when we're in a race, your position is like this. First, number one. Second, number two. 
third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. That's the order. Numbers are also split into two again. So we have odd numbers and even numbers. Even numbers are any numbers that are multiples of two. So for example, two, four, six, eight, and ten. And then we have the odd numbers, the odd numbers. And these numbers cannot be divided equally by two. And these include one, three, five, seven, and nine. So we have even numbers and odd numbers. Let's have a look at the teens, twenties, and up to 100. So we can count from zero to 10, but what comes next? The names of the numbers follow some relatively easy patterns. Um, with 10 to 20, most numbers have a teen in their names. Teen. Let's have a look. Okay. So next we have 10, 10, 10th. That's the ordinal 10th. 11, 11, 11th. 12. 12, 12, 13, 13, 13th, 14, 14, 14th, 15, 15, 15th. 16, 16, 16th, 17, 17, 17th, 18, 18, 18th, 19, 19, 19th and then 20 20 and 20th so 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so after 20 the numbers follow another pattern. So each number is named 20, and then the number of the second digit is named. So for example, 21. So you've got 20 and 1. 21. Let's go to 30. So 20, 20, 20th. 21, 21, 20. First, twenty two, twenty two, twenty second, twenty three, twenty three, twenty third, twenty four, twenty four, twenty fourth, twenty fifth. 25, 25, 25th, 26, 26, 26th, 27, 27, 27th, 28, 28, 28th, 29, 29, 29th, 30, 
30, 30th. So we've got 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. This pattern in the 20s continues for each set of 10. So again, for 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and again for 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. Let's have a look at these numbers. 40, 40, 40th. 50, 50, 50, 50th, 60, 60, 60, 60th, 70, 70, 70, 70th, 80, 80, 80, 80th, and 90, 90, 90th. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. After we've counted from 90 upwards, we reach 100, 100, 100th. When we reach 100, a new set of rules is applied when naming the number. This is very easy. We just follow this rule. When naming the numbers past 100, pronounce 100 and the number after. 100 and the number after. So for example, we have 101. 101. One. One hundred and twenty. One hundred and twenty. And we've got one hundred and forty five. One hundred and forty five. So one hundred and one, one hundred and twenty, and one hundred and forty five. This is until we reach 200. Then the, the numbers turn to 200 and. This continues until 1,000. For example, 200 and 1, 220, 240. 1,000 follows a similar rule to 100. The number is pronounced as 1,000, then whatever number follows. No and is required here. So let's have a look. We have 1,222. So let's split it up. 1,222. 1,222. This one, we have 1,546. 1,546. This one, we have 2,100. 34, 2,134, 1,222, 1,546, 2,134. Thank you very much.